Um, my name is Helen Scott and I'm the Curator of Fine Art for Edinburgh Museums and Galleries based here at the City Arts Centre. I think the fascination with the sea is down to its variety, to be honest. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in And then I'll watch them roll away again Yeah sitting on the dock of the bay. Well, this exhibition is called The Artist and the Sea, and in terms of the theme for the exhibition, um, Scotland has a long and, and quite complex relationship with the sea. We're, we're surrounded by the sea, we're a seafaring nation, and over the centuries our landscape, our history, culture, and even our economy have all been shaped by this close proximity to the, the North Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. On the dock of the bay. I think one of the things that's really nice about this theme is that the sea means so many different things to different people. So for some people it's a source of, of beauty and wonder, for others it's a source of industry or enterprise, they make their living through the sea. And then for other people they associate it with leisure or travel or as a natural environment. And all the way through that you've got um, the sea as this, this source of danger as well, it's kind of really very real. Um, source of, of peril. Behind the sea. Do you enjoy your book? Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's an enormous privilege to be able to work with all of these amazing artworks um, and to be able to, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's difficult choosing what goes in and what goes out. Uh, yes, I've got lots of favourites. Um, show me around Yes, yeah, sure. Yep. This work is one of my other favourites in the exhibition. Um, it's called Summer Sea and it's by the Scottish artist John Houston. These are colours that you don't necessarily associate with seascapes. It's very much bright yellows, pinks, oranges, and it's really expressionistic in the way that he's used the paint. You've got really broad brush strokes and, and as I say, very vibrant colours. And you can almost not make out what the image is of. And it's only when you notice the Bass Rock here on the horizon line and you realise that most of this is actually looking at the patterns and the colours going on in the sky. Um, it's, quite, it's quite an abstract rendering, I think, of, of a very familiar seascape. Even in certain artworks, you can see all those multiple layers at the same time. You can look at something that's sort of sublimely beautiful, but at the same time, ferociously terrifying as well and it seemed like a perfect theme to to explore in this exhibition. <laughs>